Hello, this is just a review for WWE 2K18 on the PS4. This is normally, I would normally just do like a quick video, about 10 minutes or less. Um, but this is about 20 minutes, this video, because I've got shit loads I want to get off my chest about this. I've been, uh, like, I've been a fan of the wrestling when I was younger. Um, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior was my favourite wrestler. Um, and I've bought all of the wrestling games throughout all the different consoles from PlayStation 1 up to the, uh, PlayStation 4. Um, so I've played all the wrestling games. Um, and I think the, the in-between wrestling games at the moment, like they've changed the game engine. So the graphics are a lot smoother. Um, and some of the transitions are a lot smoother. But do you see there, I've just walked through them. It, Roman Reigns just got into the ring and I just walked through them. It's still very glitchy. Um, but because they've changed over the game engine, um, this is like an in-between title because every couple of years you'll get a game where um, they'll change the buttons or they'll change something about it and it's not quite right and then the title after that is the one where they've refined it. Um, this is an in-between title in my view um, because there's lots of things which they've implemented but they haven't really polished up so it just makes the game shit. But I'll get to that later on. This is the basic gameplay. Um, this is what the, the meat and bones of it. You just basically, it's the same controls as the last game. Um, there's a few extra new buttons where if you press, di uh, I think it's diagonal down and grab, which is the X button. And then if you hold R1 immediately after, you can pick them up and hold them. And then you can walk around with them in your like hold and you can either chuck them over the ring or you, you can press x and do a move or it gives you a few more options and they've been wanting that to come back into the games because it was in the previous title so that you know they're bringing um, like they're implementing things that the fans want and they've put them back into the game so that is good i mean i've got to give um i've got to give them credit where credit's due there's a shitload of new um match um types now because you can have eight man uh, matches where there's eight people in the ring instead of just the the no usual six but one of the things i don't like about it is that you get all this in-game currency and all the characters all the decent legends and everybody who i would want to play with they're all locked and you start the game when you get it you i bought it brand new you start with thirty thousand coins i bought the ultimate warrior for five thousand so i've got twenty five thousand in the bottom right corner and then it's up to you where you want to spend them. But that means the area, uh, the arenas, the championships and the superstars. So in order to unlock everything, you're going to have to grind the game for hours and hours and hours. Because you only get two to 300 or 400 per match. So it takes a very long time to earn any like thousands to buy the characters. So I don't like that. Um, at least you can go onto the PlayStation Store and you can buy an accelerator for 3.99 and um, that just unlocks everything but why not just put that onto the price i've just went and paid 50 pound for a game i don't want to have to then have to pay uh, another four quid just to have everything unlocked i've paid 50 pound i've bought the game and now you have to pay more to unlock it or grind the game for hours and hours just to have all the content it's bullshit i hate it's a really cheap way of making like fleshing out the game with content to make it feel as though you're getting more longevity out of it because now I have to play it for like over a hundred hours just to unlock the characters and the belts and the arenas that I've always wanted. It's bullshit, I don't like that. So, you know, I'm just gonna get the accelerator and unlock everything because it's just, it's shit how they're bullying you into having to play the game for such a long time. Um, but like the, they've got new roster I think there's 140 wrestlers including all the DLC and all the shit that they're gonna bring out because if you're a season pass holder then you get any up and coming DLCs that come out automatically um, but they've got some old wrestlers in there the legends like Papa Shango and he was a DLC from last time so was uh, Greg the Hammer Valentine and Bruce the Barb Beefcake they were like the 80s 90 uh, late 90s early 90s late, late 80s um and they were dlc on 2017 so they've implemented that there's the godfather uh you've got psycho uh psycho sid 
Um, you've got loads of people that have never been in the game before, so it's good to see. I love how they do this, but if it was up to me, I would rather just buy a Legends game. Like, bring the same game out, but with the roster of Legends, and then you bring uh, another game where you've got your John Cena's and your Roman Reigns and all the up-to-date people, and just have two separate titles, because I don't like using any of the modern-day wrestlers, because they're all shit. I prefer when it was character based um, back in the day so that's just a little gripe for me but uh, I mean there used to be an old Wrestlemania game and stuff that came out like I say I've played them all so I prefer the WWE uh, 2K series um, for the most wrestling because it is like a wrestling simulator um, all right, and this is the, um, the customization again you need to have money i've got 1900 after i spent buying some characters that i wanted and you can't even get a mustache or a beard or it's going to cost you money again you have to go out and grind the game but you're only getting 300 credits per match and your stats are shit so you can't you know so you're running really slowly you've only got two reversals it's hard to win a match and you're only getting very low amount of uh, currency so it doesn't inspire you to want to create your character like my character looks nothing the way i would want him to look so that's like a disadvantage again unless you're gonna buy the accelerator and go out and buy the accelerator then there's just no point um you're gonna have to spend ages just grinding the game over and over and over again to in order just to lock the content but by the time you've played the game for that long you're sick of it and you know you think i've played like 30 40 hours of with a shit character with shit moves because it's the same as in the move set um your specials to have even have a double finisher you need nine thousand. um you know just daft stuff like that all your abilities and your skills which have kept from 2017 but now everything costs like just a mustache is 25 your eyebrows your eye color everything costs you in game currency and it's just so annoying they've spoiled it i think it's this stupid trend of loot crates and you know pay to win and you know the game developers think because there's so many morons out there who go out and buy these games and then they don't mind and they'll just keep buying them so the game developers are like oh great that's what's popular at the moment so we're just going to pump all that shit out and we're just going to keep giving them loot crates and microtransactions and you know like it's just because nobody complains and we're all just buying into it then the industry don't know any better and they're just like well this is what we want this is what we're going to give them so every game lately that's come out has got a loot crate based system you know about like star wars the whole battlefront 2 loot crate system that's another one there's this there's um shadow of mordor it's just come out that's a loot crate system gran turismo has just come out that's a loot crate system you know, it's just, it's the trend at the moment and it's fucking bullshit and I hate it, mate, because it's spoiling the games. Um, but you get a you get a few options. I mean, all these options are brand new. Um, you didn't get as many designs for your chest hair and stuff like that. But again, it all costs, so I couldn't really buy anything. It was just frustrating having to just do without. Um, like, do you see the designs? There was maybe three or four on the old game. Um, so they've increased that. And it's the same with the tattoos, and um, you can have actual tattoos of the superstar, like a phot phot um, photographic uh, like tattoo, realistic one, um, stuff like that. So they have really um, improved it in a lot of ways. Like I say, it's a new game engine, so all the graphics are brand new. The, the way your character looks, the models, the shininess, the oil on the skin, the sweat, like just everything about it is more realistic in comparison to the old one um, but again it goes back to having to pay for everything in order to enjoy the content you should just have everything unlocked fair enough have the roster locked and if you want to earn to unlock the roster then that's fair enough on the arenas and the belts that gives you something to work towards but just for the actual customization um, options that you should be able to just pick what the fuck you want you shouldn't have to grind the game because now instead of having to save up three thousand coins to buy like say earthquake or tugboat or someone like that i'm gonna have to choose do i want to have a a character on my career mode which is 
looking the way I want them to look or am I going to have some characters in my roster for when my friends come round and I want to just have a few matches oh you can't be him because I haven't got enough coins to unlock them yet it's just bullshit man they've, they've spoilt the game I think um, because on the old 2017 it was everything was unlocked you know and then you would earn the in-game currency and then you would buy the things that you wanted yourself so that they had got it okay there but now they've changed it. I don't know why they've changed it, but I think they've ruined it, in my opinion. Like, they've ruined this side of it anyway. Like, the actual options and everything like that is okay. You know, like, they haven't changed the way the customization works or anything like that. They haven't really changed um, the way it handles, but it's just the content and the graphics is what they've changed, which is good. So that's a positive. But I don't like how you have to pay for things with the in in-game currency it, that is what spoiled it um but if you look here like see you can get tattoos this is a new feature like you couldn't do this on 2017 and um, where you can pick like a superstar and have them as a tattoo i was looking for the umber warrior um but yeah i mean like i say it, they've added a load of new things which are really good but they've also spoiled it a lot by adding this in-game currency and the loot crates as well you get the loot crates and the, you only get them every once in a while and you know they're hard to earn and you don't always get what you want to have um in the like what you're trying because it'll unlock like a taunt or unlock like a move set or something like that you know but you might be trying to get something in particular and you just can't because you know it's just lots of work they're just fleshing out the game with hours and hours of grinding instead of giving you just extra content like this is the creation thing about with like the t-shirts and like i'm having to just wear a pair of briefs and like you know me your uh, your wrestling trunks and some knee pads and kick pads and that and a t-shirt with basic stuff on because it's whatever's free can't just go and choose a really good wrestling costume and look like Rey Mysterio or something like that because it'll all cost money. You get 30,000 coins when you start the game, but what do you want? Do you want your blout looking good or do you want some extra characters to play with? It's just fucking bullshit. You, they're forcing you to buy the 399 accelerator pack, which I don't understand. This is the this is like I was going back to the customization. Um, see how the bloke, he's a lot more fleshed out. He looks a lot more 3D. The graphics are better. These are the menu screen pauses, which are really good. This is all different. Because in the last game, they had about 30 options. But they were so similar between each one. There were hardly any difference. But these, there is quite a few um, ones. <laughs> I was making myself laugh with that. Because like, they're obviously the woman's... Uh, pauses but you know you just need to get it um you need to get that mix of the old game take the ingredients that work really well in the old game and then implement the new stuff they've obviously the game developers have obviously had some bullet points they've had to cover right we want new graphics we've got a brand new game engine so we're going to have to concentrate on the gra uh, the brand new graphics and we'll just keep the same as what we've had in the old game and then we'll implement this new loot crate system in the in-house currency system and then they've just says right get on with it so they've spent all the money on the graphics uh, all the time and effort on the graphics and they haven't really fleshed out the game in other ways that they, they should have just did give it a, a total overhaul but i think they must have been obviously run into a deadline and as long as the graphics look good in the main game plays the same as it did on 2017 then it's a finished game all these new things that you're implementing into the game they can be polished up on the next title because you'll see in the next footage it fucked us off when you're doing your career you've got to start from nxt and you work your way up right that's fair enough but when you start um it doesn't really give you any instruction um, and it tells you to go and see people and I'm not following the wrestling I haven't for about 10 years so I don't know who these people are and it's like just go and find this guy in the in the back room and I'm like I don't know who he is so you just having to ask every single wrestler you come across until you hit a ride this is another thing that fucks us off this is the create the community and uh, this is a great place to get any um 
characters from the old wrestling, any legends or anything like that, DC or anything you can think of really, um, and you can have them on your roster. See, there's Turtles there, there's, there's Scott Steiner, um, there's, a, there's a few wrestlers there, there's Hollywood Hogan in the bottom corner there, China, Chris Benoit. There's, there's lots of people um, that you can't get on the other games and in the rosters like you'll get a lot of characters that um that you've always wanted some classics there um say i want a junkyard dog so i've clicked on junkyard dog but like i can't even preview him to see what he looks like because it says you need to have all these other people unlocked in the proper game with the in-house currency before i can let you look at this character because whoever's created them is using these co uh, the content from these other characters so it even restricts you in the community side of it it's just a joke it, it really is fucking they've spoilt the game like I, I downloaded the rockers because luckily for me everything that the rockers are wearing is in available in the game for free that doesn't need unlocked that's the only reason why I've been able to download those. But there's plenty of other people that I want to download, but I can't because I don't have the in-house currency. I'm going to have to grind the game. And even if you just put, like, if you do your career, you get, like, three, 400 credits per match. Um, and then when you do your proper matches, you're still only getting 300 credits or whatever. Like, if you're just doing a singles one-on-one. -on -one. You get credits for that but you know you're not earning very much if they were giving you three thousand credits or a hunt like you know a thousand credits per match then fair enough you could save up and you could buy these characters but you can't and it's just a major downfall in the game i think they've spoiled the fun of the game because now the game's a chore you have to complete the game and you have to play it and play it and play it and play it and play it just to unlock the things that you want to use you know, it's just, it's so fucking stupid. They've totally spoiled it now. And this is the loot crates. This is what I was talking about, the loot crate system. Look, look at the shit you get. You know what I mean? Arm perk. You get, um, you know, like just stuff that you don't want. Enzo Amaro accessory. You know what I mean? I'm never going to use that. It's just, they've spoiled the game, I think. They're, they're trying to jump onto this bandwagon of... Um, loot crate systems and it's spoiling the game i hope to god by the time they bring out the next 2019 it's fucking they've changed it but you never know it and this is the one thing i hate about the career mode you're watching a massive um loading in screen like that and then you've got to talk to fucking baron blade right who is just some default character from 2017 so why they've kept him in the game god knows you should be talking to a proper superstar not just some made up default superstar who, who looks like horrendous and he's got all the worst costume um, and tattoos and everything and this is basically what you've got to do while you're playing your career every single time you've got to go and talk to baron blade he'll tell you that's enough for today you've got to go and talk to a parking attendant he says do you want your car you say yes and then you've got to just go home and then it'll load in again and then you watch a massive loading in screen and then it'll come back on and then you've got to run back to baron blade and then you've got to ask him and then you've got to look at the whiteboard to find out who, like what match you're doing or if you're doing a promo or something like that and then after you've done that you've got to do your match and then you just go and ask this parking attendant again and then you just go home and then you just come back again and you're constantly running from baron blade to this guy with a yellow t-shirt on and then you'll come back and run back to baron blade and then you come back and run back to him every time you do a match or something it wants you to go home and then come back again to work you know it's just they're trying to implement this from the other games where you had to run around backstage and they've tried it on other games before in the past and it didn't quite work or it worked a lot better than this but just you've seen the way it looks when he's running it just looks so shit they haven't put enough time into it and then you've got to watch another fucking loading in screen and then you've got to run back to the fucking room that you've just been in and you've got to go and talk to baron blade but at the top it would say go and talk to like john smith and you think well who the fuck's he like you, you've got to know who these people are or you know like i forgot his name but i've always known him as albert but his name's not albert he's it's his proper name it's like go and see ben hall 
and say, who the fuck's Ben Hall? And then I'm running around like this for ages, talking to every fucking bastard that I come across, trying to find out who he is. And, you know, it was just, it's just designed badly, and I just don't think it's very well thought of. Um, this is just a little uh, match I set up in my universe, because I've created my universe. And I downloaded Legion of Doom, I downloaded The Rockers, and I just thought I'll have a two, like a two-on-two two for the tag belt, and I'll just see what it's like. Um, and like it plays okay, it, it, the, it plays exactly the way it does off the old game. They've added a few more buttons, like I say, but I think they've spoiled it with the in-house, uh, the in-game currency, in the loot crate system, in the career mode is absolutely shocking. It's so shit and boring. But if you like it, then go out and download, uh, go out and buy it. But honestly, I wouldn't like. I'd get it secondhand. That's it. See you there.